Hi, Jack mm -hmm. here with Buzz Bee Bee Beekeeping Supply. And today the topic is treating a hive with powdered sugar. I'll take this off. Let's see if there's a Now there's many advantages. Yeah, it's good. To treating a hive with powdered sugar. The first one is that one that I really like is that it's inexpensive. It's also an organic method basically to reduce the mite level. And it does a good job of knocking out the mites. Uh, on the bees over a 24 to say 28 hour period and you'll see a high level of uh, mite drop. Now there's no side effect uh, on the development of the colony and it won't contaminate the honey either. And the sugar doesn't really annoy the bees and it doesn't leave a residue. Uh, whereas uh, formic and oxalic acid are kind of strong and toxic and they can result in queen loss and hurt the brood a bit and actually leave a residue. And by the way, formic and oxalic acid uh, basically can't be used in warm or hot humid weather uh, where the powdered sugar can be used any time of the year. Now there's a couple drawbacks to using the powdered sugar in that it may draw ants and another one is that it may initiate robbing in, in, in the colony. And if you're wondering how to make a powdered sugar shaker like this. There's a link in the video description uh, for an article on how to make this simple sugar shaker. Now this method works because the bees will basically groom themselves and knock off any of the mites. Now the type of sugar I'm using is organic white sugar. And I actually grind it myself. I use an old coffee grinder uh, to grind it down. Just takes a few minutes. Uh, you only want to use white sugar because uh, brown sugar may contain up to 10% molasses which is unsuitable for the bees. And with this method you need either a screen bottom board or a sticky board. Uh, I have a high beetle trap on this one and uh, it, it, it's screened. Uh, but some folks like the sticky board uh, which is usually made of cardboard or aluminum covered and coated with vegetable oil. Now, you only want to dust those frames that actually have bees on them. Some people advocate just dumping the sugar on top of the frames and then using a bee brush basically to scoop the, the sugar in. And I find that method not very effective at all. Um, I prefer to coat each, you know, each frame with bees with powdered sugar. And I want to use a light dusting like this. Slow and methodical. So to cause as little disturbance with the bees as possible. Now it's recommended that you do this treatment in spring, summer, and fall. And you probably want to do it twice during the fall. And the reason being, you want to make sure your colony is strong before the winter. And as you can see here, I'm just doing a light dusting. Just like that. You folks have a great day, and as they say, and as I always say, happy beekeeping.